watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany Dufran with your midday news break. Happy Monday and welcome back to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany Dufran here with your midday news break. Your health is wealth and it truly does matter. LSU Health received Omicron-specific booster shots earlier this month and has administered about 1,000 so far. Booster shots were available this weekend during the drive through clinic and doctors say COVID hospitalizations have been an all, at an all-time low. But despite the numbers, they encourage everyone to get boosted as we head into the winter season. One of the things that people ask me a lot is how soon after a prior booster or a COVID infection can you get the, the new booster? And the recommendation is that it be at least two months since your either prior booster or COVID infection itself. Doctors do say it's safe to get your flu shot and booster at the same time. And speaking of flu shots, this week, Miller County Health Unit will host a drive through flu shot clinic. In past years, the clinic was hosted at the four states fairgrounds, but this year it will take place at the health unit. The clinic is open to anyone at no cost, but if you have an insurance card, it is suggested to bring it anyway. Experts say you want to make sure you get it when it's available and as soon as possible because it does take a few weeks to build up those immunities. The hope is to keep those symptoms mild and the clinic is this Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if we look into the latest coronavirus numbers, the World Health Organization actually says new weekly deaths around the world have reached their lowest point since March 2020. The CDC also points out that as of September 21st, the current seven-day average of new cases decreased by 10%. Compared to the previous week, this leads us to our question of the day. All right, the question of the day is coming up in just a minute. Go ahead and take down this QR code so you can see. of the day is, is President Biden valid in saying the pandemic is over? Do you think he's right? Go ahead and put your answer in. Yes or no. Police are investigating a fatal shooting that happened Sunday morning in Natchitoches Parish. At the scene of the crime, police found 21-year-old Jaquarian Kassan suffering from a fatal gunshot wound. Unfortunately, he was pronounced dead. The police department is asking for your help. If you have any information, you can call the Natchitoches Police Department. Back in Caddo Parish, a man suffering multiple gunshot wounds was dropped off at a fire station. Sunday morning, this happened and he was left in front of the fire station number six on David Rains Road, but the vehicle dropped him off was gone before anyone could see. Shreveport police are now investigating this and anyone with any information is encouraged to call Crime Stoppers. Now here's an update to a shooting that took place in August near Burt. The department says a man with a machete attempting suicide by a cop was shot in the leg by Officer Samantha Gwynn and Amanda Gill. They have now both been placed on leave as the investigation is underway. Moving on to something for you library lovers out there. I think you're going to like this. Here's something that you can get excited about. Renovations are now complete at the Shreve Memorial Library in Mooringsport. It's actually been closed since May, but the library officials say it needed a good facelift. So the time off was necessary, and I think it sure got that facelift it needed. Now with a new layout, paint job, lighting, a self-checkout area, they're excited to open their doors five days a week. All right, you guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few. Watching KTAL News Now, here's Brittany Dufran with your midday news break.
Welcome back. I'm Brittany DeFran, and happy to see you're kicking your week off here with us on KTAL News Now. Now let's jump into your midday news break. If you're a parent, this may make you feel a little better regarding your child's safety at school. Lawmakers are continuing to put a focus on school safety following the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. A new exercise referred to as a random intruder detection audit will take place at schools across the state. The goal to find weak points in security on school grounds. Some audits have already begun, according to the Texas School Safety Center. And to avoid confusion, of course, local law enforcement will be alerted beforehand. Now, here's something interesting. I mean, we've all seen it before. It's the plot of maybe some of your favorite blockbuster movies, an asteroid heading toward Earth. Well, later today, NASA is attempting to see if it's possible to knock an asteroid off course. According to experts, this will be the first ever Save the Planet experience. NBC Tom Castello has more on this. It's a first-of-its-kind Save the Planet experiment. NASA about to slam a spacecraft into a small, harmless asteroid millions of miles away. The mission to determine if NASA can deflect an asteroid should one end up on a collision course with Earth. It's like a real-life version of the film Armageddon. Your health is wealth, and it truly does matter. LSU Health received Omicron-specific booster shots earlier this month and has administered about 1,000 so far. Booster shots were available this weekend during the drive through clinic, and doctors say COVID hospitalizations have been at an all-time low. But despite the numbers, they encourage everyone to get boosted as we head into the winter season. Doctors say it's safe to get your flu shot and booster at the same time. This leads us to our question of the day. I'm going to give you a moment to take down this QR code you see right here on your screen. Your voice truly matters and we want to hear from you. Today's question of the day is, is President Biden valid in saying the pandemic is over? Do you think he's right? Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. And we want to continue to make sure we're hearing from you. So send me a tweet at hashtag AskBrit and we'll see you next time.